Hi, I solved the issue of my Seagate 1.5 terabyte hard drive clicking and I'm going to show you how to solve it on yours as well. It's a very easy fix and only requires a few simple tools. It requires a standard flat blade screwdriver, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and a very tiny Phillips screwdriver. Uh, if you have one like this or perhaps one from a uh, eyeglass repair kit might work as well. And it requires a piece of paper of some type. Uh, I happen to have a sticky notepad paper here which is exactly the right size that's required. And some electrical tape. Once you do disassemble the plastic case and you're finished with the repair, you'll be able to get your hard drive back together again just as mine is here. I have not super glued it together in any way. That could be done, but that would make future removal very difficult. This case I have can be pried apart fairly easily, but if it's just going to sit on top of your computer, no one would ever be the wiser. Now I'm going to show you how to disassemble the case. You can start on either side, it really doesn't matter. You simply stick the screwdriver in the side of the case and twist a bit. As you do this, you will hear clicking. That is the tabs that are breaking off. Mine now is not clicking and the case is pried open very easily because the tabs have already been broken off. But you simply walk the screwdriver around the edge every inch or so sticking the screwdriver in, prying to the side like that, and eventually all of the tabs along the side of the case will be freed. At this point, you can lift the case up from the back very gently, slowly. Don't worry, the only thing you will break is these tabs. You can see they are broken off here. I tried to get up close there. What you see here is two tabs sticking down. Previously, there was a black piece there connecting the bottom with a hole in the center. But as you can see, all of the tabs here are broken off. That happened when I opened the drive. At this point, the front comes off very easily. It just flips forward like that. At this point now, you can see the hard drive enclosed in the metal case. You need to remove it. It's very easy. Simply lift up on the LED as it's secured in a little slot there and lift up on the front of the drive while holding the case itself. Keep lifting and you can see there are four rubber pads, two on the front and two on the back that secure the drive in the plastic case itself. At this point, flip the case over. You'll see the LED has been taped to the metal case itself. You'll want to remove the tape securing the LED and just pull that back. At this point, it's time for your very small, very small Phillips screwdriver. This is a screw here with a very small Phillips head and you simply need to remove it. Once the screw has been removed, slide the metal case towards the back and then lift up. At this point there are four screws that are holding the hard drive in the case itself. We need to remove those. For this we need our larger Phillips screwdriver. A number one or a number two will do. Simply unscrew the four screws holding the hard drive in the metal case. Now that the screws have been removed, it's time to remove the hard drive. For this, you simply need to slide the hard drive to the rear. Do not lift up on it, just simply slide. Hold the bottom of the case with your fingers securely, put your thumbs on the hard drive, and push the hard drive to the rear. Once it is slid out, then the hard drive can be lifted up and removed. On 
this end where the plugs are for the drive I have already made a modification the modification I made was a bit severe but it worked there's a metal tab directly underneath the USB connector in this case I broke the metal tab off I am offering an alternative solution which is probably easier and quicker and is simply a lot easier to reverse if you ever decide you want to undo the modification. That would be to simply take a piece of electrical tape and wrap this tab with electrical tape. In order either to remove the tab or wrap it with electrical tape, it's easier to remove the circuit board so that you don't have to worry about any potential damage to the USB connector. In order to do that, you need your standard Phillips screwdriver. There are two holes in the case itself. Each hole directly in the center of the hole is a Phillips screw. You simply insert your screwdriver into that hole and remove the screw. At this point, circuit board can simply be slid out of the case. And this is the circuit board that powers the drive and provides the USB SATA interface to feed the drive. The two scribe screws, take those out, and at this point you could wrap this tab with electrical tape or bend or cut it off. Once you've either wrapped it or broken it off, then it's time to put the circuit board back in.